Glory to God. We're on Facebook Live and on our conference call. And we're so excited about this series that we're doing. We're just excited about what the Lord is doing. The Lord is so good. He is so good. And we're just so thankful to be able to even serve him, to be able to even uh, be a part of what he's doing in this last end time revival. How many? <laughs> I believe God is doing some stuff and I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of it. It's important. It is so, it's urgent that we stay connected to the Holy Spirit, to our church, churches, our, our church, our churches, uh, at least I can, I can stand, say for new beginnings. It's important that we stand connected and be uh, aware of what God is doing in these last days. Oh my God, I just, I'm just, I just want to be a part of it. I'm telling you, it is special. And so we're on uh, our conference call uh, uh, and on Facebook Live. And I know that on our conference call, my mom is on, Mama Hughes, and Carolyn's mom is on, Mama Scott, and other people are coming on. And then I just want to say uh, real quick, uh, welcome to the people whose names I can see popping up on Facebook Live. And like I said, if I don't say your name, it's because I don't see your name. That's the only reason why I didn't say your name. Or I just went on to start preaching. You came on afterwards. But <laughs> uh, well, hello, Deborah Adams. Hello, Cynthia Portis. Hello, Sister Frances Isaac. Hello, my niece, Jennifer Nicole. Hello. Hello, Catherine Moffitt. Hello, Cynthia Portis. Let's see. Glory to God. That's who we see so far as people are still getting on in the name of Jesus. And like I said, if I didn't say your names because I didn't see your name, I'm just thankful to have you on. Love y'all. How many of y'all been enjoying this series, The Prosperous Soul? It is so important that we keep our souls healthy in the name of Jesus. Good good morning, Chantel oh, Mason. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Lula Brunsfield. It's important that we keep our souls healthy, that we keep our souls optimal because the Bible tells us, I wish above all things. That means what is most important. This is important because this is going to determine your prosperity in this earth. It's going to determine your quality of life. I wish above all things that thou prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. So he gives us an, uh, an ideal as to uh, how uh, we are going to improve or keep the quality of our lives. And it is determined upon our soul's prosperity. And so that's why we are taking our time going through uh, 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 Psalms 23, which we are connecting to how to have a prosperous soul. That's why we're taking our time going through this. I believe this is uh, the fifth part of the series. And we're just on verse 3. <laughs> Part of Sarah, this is so great. I'm enjoying this so much. I know you all I have been fasting and everything, and I believe God. <laughs> pastor's laughing. Tell him, I've been fasting. Been fasting. I've been eating all I can eat. He's like, pastor, but he's been fasting. He's been eating all he been eat, can eat. No, he ain't. <laughs> he's been staying to the fast, but we've been fasting, and we are. Uh, uh, I, I believe that God is speaking to you more. I believe that you're hearing his voice more clearly. Uh, I, I believe last night I woke up around four o'clock and and uh, it just uh, when I do that, I, oftentimes I wake up between two and three, I mean two and four, and I'll just start praying and then I'll fall back to sleep. Couldn't fall back to sleep this time. I had to get up and get ready for this. But I uh, woke up and just uh, started praying and uh, uh, the Lord just had been talking to me about so many things and it's good to have it's good to have a notebook or your phone around where you can uh, write down what the, what the Holy Spirit is saying to you 
to your heart, give you a revelation on, on different things that are uh, happening in the name of Jesus. Good morning, Carolyn McCollum. Good morning in the name of Jesus. Good morning, uh, Deborah Deborah McCollum, Deborah Benson McCollum. Good morning. I want to mention it now and then at the end. Uh, okay, so pastor's giving me some instruction. And sister, good morning, Toya Ray Mitchell now. Toya just got married. Good morning. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. And so uh, we have uh, this Saturday. Just before I get started, Pastor said, say it before time and at the end. And we have something coming up which is going to be amazing. We have, we're starting at New Beginnings, our health and wellness series. Our health and wellness series. That means that we, I I know y'all been watching series, especially uh, since the pandemic has started. I know y'all been watching series. So you know it's a continuation. And this is the first installment of our health and wellness series that we will be having on Saturday. This Saturday at 10 o'clock from 10 to 12. It's amazing what God can do with your life when you, the Bible says uh, in, uh, in Proverbs, a wisdom for us to seek after her, for us to search for her. So that means you have to make an effort to do. And so with this series, we're, we're going to be imparting a lot of health and uh, wellness wisdom to you. And by the end of the series, we're going to be doing so good. Oh my goodness, we're improving our lives. And so we're having our health and wellness series starting on January the 21st at from 10 to 12 p.m. And in the series, uh, we will be uh, uh, having, uh, Minister Tim will be hosting it for a New Beginnings. Minister Tim, who is a minister at our, uh, our church, and also he has his ministry, uh, uh, it's all about the W, where they, he's talking about people winning in life with changing their lifestyle and their eating and their exercising and living a healthy lifestyle. So Minister Tim uh, uh, will be hosting as we have our guests coming, uh, Joy Lynn uh, Be- Betha, Bethia, and, and she's talking about reducing inflammation. And then Cora Champion is talking about heart health, heart health. And Roy and Victoria Peters will be coming in talking about get fit, exercising. We got to move more in 2023, y'all. Exercising. Glory to God. And then Charles Smith will be coming and doing a healthy cooking class. And we're even going to have taste testing. And we have vendors coming that are going to really uh, uh, bring some really healthy things. All All of them are professional. All of them are top of the line in their area. Our vendors, one of our vendors is uh, 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 one of our daughters in the Lord, Ashley uh, Anderson. She'll be having her sea moss there. And I'm going to tell you something. I've been taking that sea moss for about a year now. and, And I drink it in my green tea. I used to be kind of stiff and stiffen up some and everything, but since I've been taking that green tea, that stiffness done left. That's now, sea, I'm telling you, uh, the, the sea moss, since I've been taking the sea moss, the sea moss, that stiffness, this stuff is going to bless y'all. So, you want to make sure that you're there at the Health and Wellness Series at 10 o'clock. It'll be 10 to 12. You will be blessed. It's the first installment of our series. We'll be having uh, uh, mental health uh, will be a part of our series. Parenting and how to have healthy children will be a part of the series. And we're going to have aging gracefully will be a part of the series. I mean, we're going to have so many different uh, uh, arms to this series that will make us all more healthy and fit for the master's use. And so let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you and we thank you for this wonderful and blessed day, because this is the day that you have made. We're rejoicing and so glad in it. 
Thank you, Father, for allowing us to have prosperous souls. Father, you want us to have healthy souls. You want our mind, will, and emotions to be healthy. And so we know that that is an eternal thing. Our souls are eternal. So we know that you, Father, give us eternal tools to, to deal with it, to make it healthy, to keep it alive, to keep it strong, to keep it prosperous. And so, Lord, as we go through this series, we receive all of what the Holy Spirit is saying to us in the name of Jesus, thereby being healed, healthy, and whole in our mind, will, and emotions, which is bringing a quality in life to our spirit and, and our bodies. Thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hello, hello, here we go. So we're talking about the prosperous souls. And so we've talked about the different, um, the different uh, 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 supernatural things that God promises in Psalms 23. He promises supernatural things in Psalm 23. And these supernatural things that God has provided for us in Psalms 23 will cause us to have prosperous souls. David had a, a revelation. He had a revelation of these things when he wrote Psalms 23. God had an assignment on David and David was the the most uh, the best king that the uh, the nation of Israel has ever had. And it's because of his relationship with God. It was because his revelation that God loves him and it's because of him understanding on how to have a prosperous soul. And so we talked about uh, so far uh, uh, God's supernatural promise uh, for uh, God promises supernatural provision. And that's in Psalms 23 and verse 1. And then God promises supernatural protection. That's in Psalms 23 verses two, verse 2a. And then he promises supernatural peace. And that's in Psalms 23 2 and verse uh, 2, the B part of the verse. And then God promises supernatural restoration. Glory to God. And that's in Psalms 23, uh, uh, verses, verse 3a. And so now we're on the fifth part of the series. And it is God promises us supernatural guidance. God promises us supernatural guidance. And so we know he says in Psalms 3, let's read Psalms 23, 3. It says, he restores my soul. Glory to God. Restoration. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. So here we find that uh, he gives us supernatural guidance. Have you ever been in a place where you just didn't know what to do? You just needed some guidance. You needed to know where to go, what to do, how to do it. You was lost. Have any of you ever been lost? Have any of you ever been lost? Yeah, I know I have. And I thank God that we have the inside track now. We God has given when you became born again, you got the inside track. You got the inside track on what to do. And so uh, 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 because by his spirit, he'll lead us by his word and by his spirit. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's let's look at this. And uh, Psalms 23 and verse 8, that's a great promise. See, our soul can rest. We can have peace. We can have assurance because we understand that he is our guide. The Lord is our shepherd and he will guide you. And so we find in Psalms 23, uh, thir uh, 32 and verse 8, it says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eyes. Wow. He said, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eyes. You need to stop saying that you lost. Once you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you ain't lost no more. You just need to submit yourself to the Holy Spirit and allow him to guide you. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 37 and verse 23 says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his and, and he delighteth. And he delighteth 
in his way. Oh, my, my, my. You know, when our steps are ordered of the Lord, we are, we, we find ourselves in places we never thought we would be. We find ourselves doing things we never thought we could do because this is supernatural guidance. God is already prepared the way to the way he wants you to go. Oh, you're going to, do you understand? When God guides you, when the Lord leads us, when we submit to the Holy Spirit and he leads us, he's already prepared the way. So you're going to a prepared place, prepared just for you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Woo, you ain't lost, baby. Uh-uh. Uh, Psalms uh, 73, Psalm 73 and verse 24 says, Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. And so the counsel is the word of God. He counsels us with the word of God. So the word of God gives makes our steps sure because every word every word of God is a sure word. It 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 will not return void. It is it it, it was it, it his word it, heaven and he said my heaven and earth will pass away but my word shall remain. So that you 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 understand the roadmap that he has given you is sure. In Proverbs In Proverbs uh, 3, 6, he says in Proverbs 3, 6, and we this is a very familiar scripture. He said, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. So we got to understand that him guiding us, he's not going to force us. He's not going to make us follow him. He's not going to make us heed to where he wants us to go. You have to submit yourself to him. By, you have to willingly go. So in all your ways, acknowledge him. Let me say this to you. There is not nothing here on earth that we're supposed to do without him. I'll say that again. There is nothing here on earth that we're supposed to do without him. Everything we do should be in him, through him, by him, for him, with him. And so when we acknowledge him, Lord, uh, in our marriages, when we acknowledge him in our business, when we acknowledge him in our church, when we acknowledge him in our children, in our friendships, in, our, in everything that we set ourselves to do, then he will direct our path. He'll take you to the place that's been prepared for you. Good God Almighty, that's a word for somebody. You need to back up. Let me ask you a question, a real simple question, and I'm just going to hoover here for a minute. Have you acknowledged him in your relationship? You, you got this scratchy feeling that uh, this is not for married folks. I'm talking to singles right now. You got this scratchy feeling that this, this person really ain't the one for you, but you're trying to make it fit. You tried to make it happen. You tr you tried to force it to happen. And the Lord is saying to you today, you're trying to force something that wasn't for you. That's why you got that uneasy feeling. But when you acknowledge God and submit to God and say, Lord, I submit to you. You show me where to go, who to be with. Then he will direct your path to the right person. Oh my, that's a word for somebody there. I had, to, I had to pause on that word. Oh, for these married folks. You've been trying uh, uh, all these uh, different uh, techniques. Taking the counsel of the world instead of the counsel of God, the word of God. You've been trying all this, trying to buy all this to, to make it right. Trying to, 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 to do all these, trip it out, buy it out. And all this kind of stuff to make it right. And the Lord said, you can go on as many trips as you want. You can try to uh, bring in as much money as you want to bring in. But it ain't going to come together until you acknowledge me. In other words, until you allow me to come in. And when he comes in to our relationship, he guides us to the way we uh, can have a beautiful uh, marriage. He'll guide us to the right place. He'll guide you to the right place in him. 
your spouse. He'll guide you to the right place in her, your spouse. He'll show you things and show you what to do, what to say, how to deal. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Oh, let's talk about business owners. Business owners, you got this magnanimous vision of what you want to do with your business. And you are working hard and, 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 and I can't come to church no more because I'm working too hard for this vision. I, I can't participate in the house of God. I, I can't spend fat time with my family because I'm working on something. I'm, I'm trying to get there. Wait a minute now. God said first things first. First you have to acknowledge me. And then I will direct your path. Your priorities is out of line. And so you have allowed that vision of what you want your business to be, to be your God, if you will, instead of letting God be God and allowing him to guide you on how to do your business. Because when the anointing is on you, he takes the sweat and toil out of work. <laughs> He'll show you how to do something you've been trying to do for 20 years in a minute's time and turn your whole business around. Yes, he will. I've seen it happen. And so uh, you have, he said, I will guide you, but you need to submit yourself to me so that you can, uh, uh, your business can be all that he wants it to be. Oh, my, 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 my. Are you getting it? In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Look at this one. Psalms 119 and verses 105. It says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. So the Lord tells us explicitly that he leads us with his word. That's why y'all, 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 word, y'all speak too much word. Everything ain't the word. Yes, it is. Everything is the word. Everything is the word. The word is everything. And so uh, 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 it's important that we understand that uh, 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 that God leads us by his word. He won't contradict his word, but the word will shine a light to what we're supposed to do. It'll cut a light on in a dark room. It'll cut a light on in a dark marriage. It'll cut a light on in a dark relationship. It'll cut a light on in dead finances. Oh, the word lead light. Light reveals. Light exposes. Light causes the pathway to be clear. His word is a light to us. Oh, didn't Jesus say I'm the, I am the light, the way, the truth, and the light? Oh, my goodness. My, my, my. Now, just another thing going back to acknowledging him in all your ways. Let's take, for example, Chick-fil-A and Hobby Lobby. Chick-fil-A and Hobby Lobby both produce great products. They're Christian-owned, and they both in, uh, uh, produce great products. And guess what? They're closed on Sunday. Now, they could be open on Sunday. They could be open on Sunday. They got the right to be open on Sunday. But the owners have established that we will be closed on Sunday because we need to go to church. And if I'm going to church, I'm going to make sure that my, my uh, employees can go to church too. And they are sales are through the roof. So they have acknowledged God first and they are prospering tremendously. Oh, that's telling me something. Chick-fil-A, Hobby Lobby, shut it down on Sunday if you can. Now, some of y'all might be working in uh, jobs that you can't do it, but you need to believe God that you will be able to do it. Let me tell y'all a little story. God will, oh, he will answer your prayers. This is when I was just tw 20 years old. We were just married. We was just married. And we needed money because Pastor was going to school to Ramah. And he was working. And I was working too. 
And we were just married and we were poor. Poor. You hear me? But we were in love. We didn't know we were poor. We were rich though. Rich in love. We always had what we needed. Always had what we needed. God saw to it. But because I know it, it is because we acknowledged him from the very beginning in our marriage that he came first. And so on Sundays, we told our employers that it is important that we go to church together. That's important. We have to do this. And guess what? Because of our commitment, our acknowledging God, our praying and asking God to give us favor, the Lord gave us favor that we was off on Sundays and Mondays because that would be our day together. God would give us, God gave us that so that we could, uh, because we acknowledged him. This is a young, young folks making a stand to acknowledge God first in all that we do. And so when they see that you have that kind of commitment, that kind of commitment to God, a lot of times people will go ahead and give you what you need. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Tell me, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so let's look at what Jesus said in John. Let's look what Jesus said in John chapter uh, 16 and verse 13. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, and that, that shall he speak, and he shall show you things to come. Oh, so who are we talk about? We talk about the Holy Spirit. How be it, the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit, is come. Lord, I thank you he is come. My life has been changed since I've been born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. And that shall he speak. And he shall show you things to come. Now the Greek word here uh, for guide means one who knows all the roads. Let me say it again. The Greek word here for guide means all who knows um, uh, 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 one who knows one who knows all the roads so if the holy spirit knows all the roads don't it that's just like going on a trip that's just like going on a trip and you ain't got no map or you ain't got no gps and you you plan on traveling across the country no gps nothing you gonna get lost you're going to get lost. And even now, I remember when we were growing up, my mom going to get me, my daddy going to get me. We used to travel to, <laughs> to, to Pennsylvania every year. And this was before they put that turnpike in, which made it easier to get to Pennsylvania. And then, then daddy is a map man. He always looks at the map and makes sure he has the directions and everything and, and where to go. But I don't know why we always would get lost. Those little roads. We always got lost every every year. We missed this, you know, you see what I'm saying? And that's because we, you know, sorry, Dad, I love you, but you wasn't reading that map right. Well, the Holy Spirit knows all the roads. And when we yield to him, when we can read Holy Spirit, in other words, when we can yield to the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, yield to his uh, guidance, then we won't miss the exit. We won't get lost. It's like he says here, one who knows all the roads. In other words, a tour guide. <laughs> it's like a tour guide. One who knows the safest, fastest, and most pleasurable route to take. One who shows a traveler the safest course through an unknown country. Woo! My, my, my. Show you things to come. One who knows the safest, fastest, and most pleasurable route to take. One who knows a tra uh, one who shows a traveler the safest course 
through an unknown country. And so we know that Holy Spirit will show us the safest, fastest, and most pleasurable route to take. He'll take us through the unknown country. A country. He'll take us as a tour guide will take. If if we will just yield to the tour guide, if you will, the Holy Spirit, and allow him to guide us through. Now, you know, I like what my husband always say about that tour guide. Here's the Holy Spirit as the great tour guide guiding us through life, the safest, fastest, and most pleasurable route to get us to where he needs us to go that has already been prepared for us. And you always got a knucklehead that ain't going to follow the full tour guide. He say, okay, everybody, we're going this way. And then there's always a knucklehead who's going to go the opposite direction and get themselves towed up. <laughs> How many of y'all ever did that? Raise your hand. I know I have. I have gone the opposite direction. I've gone the wrong direction. And I'm going to tell you, those school of hard knocks, the price, the tuition is just too high. <laughs> the school of hard knocks, you, the tuition is just too high. Stay with the tour guide. He will get you to where you need to go. Now, the Greek word is also used for a guide for uh, the Greek word is also used for a guide for guide is for a uh, is 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 for the blind you see the Greek word is also used for a guide for the blind that's it the Greek word is also used that that word uh will guide you that Greek word is also used for uh uh for uh the blind when Jesus used this word Listen to this. When Jesus used this word, he is saying the Holy Spirit will be your guide. Trust him. He can see what you cannot see. Ah, oh, it's like a, 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 the Holy Spirit is leading the blind. And you know, we're blind. We don't know which way to go. We don't know what's going to go on. We don't know what's down the road, but the Holy Spirit does. And so the Holy Spirit will guide you. Like he, like someone blind, a guy and a blind person, but we have to trust him. He can see what we cannot see. He will lead, he will not lead us astray. So it's important that we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit because he will lead and guide us. Romans 8, 14 says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Again, Romans 8, 14. As many are that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons. We have the inside track. Did you know that when you became born again, that God gave you the inside track? God gave you the inside track. And so it's important that we remember that he leadeth us in the paths of righteousness, the right place for us. We are right standing with him. He leads us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now, um, just a quick, um, uh, as we wrap up, just remembering uh, through the years how the Lord led my husband and I and our family in, in ministry. And uh, this just, uh, I can, I have so many different uh, 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 examples, but I'll just pick out the most recent. When we was looking for a church building, when we was looking for a church building and it was during the pandemic, God supernaturally got us out of our old contract where we were. I mean, it was supernatural. I ain't kidding. I, oh, I'd like to walk this down for y'all, but I ain't got the time, Jesus. Y'all pulling, y'all pulling. Well, okay, let me just, I'm going to walk it down a little bit. So, in 2019, 2019, my husband, uh, uh, and this being led by the Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit, being led by the Holy Spirit, he will have you to do things pre, pre prepping you for what is to come. He will have you prep, he will prep you, have you doing things preparing you like Joseph did. Uh, with uh, uh, Egypt. He will have you to do things preparing you for what is to come. Now, we ain't, we ain't know nothing about no pandemic was coming. Nothing was going on. We ain't, what are you talking about? But I remember 2019 around Thanksgiving, my husband got up and he was looking. He said, nah, we, gonna, we, gonna, we got to get out of this here 
rent. We need to own something. We need to own something. The Lord placed inside of him a uh, urging, a uh, 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 wanting, a uh, needing to own instead of renting. He said, we got to own something. It's time for us to own something. New beginnings to own our building. It's time for us to own it. The Lord put that inside of him. See, the Lord will put inside of you a want to. Something that you, you know, coming from nowhere. It seems, but I just got to do this. I just got to do this. I don't know why, but my heart is telling me I got to do it as he's leading you. I got to go. I got to do it. And so he started looking through, uh, looking for property for us to buy. And, and, but we still had a contract for about a year, uh, for uh, about a year and a half. But he said, no, nah, we getting out of this contract. We're going to write this man a letter and he's going to get us out of this. We're going to get out of this contract. And so we wrote the letter and, and the owner said, no. See, you can't get deterred <laughs> when you hear no. If God said it, he going to make it happen. Just keep believing and trusting. He said, so when he told us no, my husband said, uh-uh. Watch and see. He gonna it's gonna happen. I'm still believing. We gonna get we gonna get out of this. We gonna own our own. And so and so uh the uh just about a, a a month later or a few weeks later he gets a call. My husband gets a call and this this gentleman says, "Hey, are you looking to get out of that lease? Because I'd like to have mine." Where you're at. And so he said, well, yeah, man, that, yeah, that, 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 that'll be great. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I sure do. And he said, well, but I'm not going to go to the owner. My husband told me, I'm not going to go to the owner. See, the Lord will tell you how to do things strategically. How to, so that you can benefit. You, let the Holy Spirit lead you. And so he said, you go on to the owner and you talk to him. And, and then they'll set it up. I'm going to let them set it up. Because they told me no and let them set it up. See, their no actually became a blessing to us because when we went to see them, they they asked they they the owner called us and said, "Can we talk to you and your wife? We want to ask you something." And so he came. We came to ask. They said, "Well, are you still wanting to get out of that lease? Because we have somebody else who will give us a five year lease, and 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 we're willing to get you out." So we said, "Well, see, you got to be cool. The Holy Spirit will make you cool when you're dealing business. You got to be cool." And so, well, let me see. Uh, and so they said, "Well, I tell you what, we'll, we'll you ain't got to pay no more rent for." For the next month and a half, the, that the, until the, 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 how soon can you get out? And he said, probably take me about a month, two months. And well, you ain't got to pay no more rent. Thank you, Jesus. And and and, and we gonna give you your deposit back. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, well we'll do it then. We'll do it. When we walked out of there, we start shouting, look at the Lord. See, when the Lord, when you, the Lord will lead and guide you, he'll, he'll guide you and lead you and, and set you up so pretty better than you ever would have thought about doing. Just allow the Holy Spirit to do what he does. Have patience. And so that was in the, we was there until March of 2020. And March of 2020, everything shut down because of the pandemic. God got us out of that lease right before that pandemic started. Come on now. He'll show you things to come. He'll set you up. Put you in a place already prepared for you. When famine comes, he'll have you in a place where you eating good. And so we 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 uh um uh, uh, we was able to save for two years for our church. And so okay. We start looking. Where's the church? Where's the church? We found this church. Then they went out and said, we was about to make, cut the deal, make the deal, everything. Oh, we don't want to sell. I said, no, don't go. I'm ready to go tell folks off. You know, sometimes black ladies, black women, button your lip. Black women, sometimes we need to know how to button our lip and stop uh, uh, getting, getting with folks, telling folks off. Shut up. See what I'm saying? 
And so let the Holy Spirit continue to. My husband was cool as a cucumber. He was cool and calm, and I was I was frazzled. I was upset. There is nothing else out there. Why aren't you? Why aren't you upset? How come you ain't upset now? We gotta get a building now. It's time to go back to church. Why are you not upset? Oh, the Lord will provide. And so then another church came up. It was in our budget. It was easy. It was an easy thing. This would have been great. We went and we was about to uh, looking at getting this church. And it was some things and scratching on the inside. Something ain't right here. Something ain't right here. It's a little bit too small. It's too small. It, it's just not going to give us what we want. Now, for years, my husband has been saying, I want a big box. I want a big box. I want a big box church. I need to have you want a, just a regular church, Leslie. I don't want no regular church. I need to have square footage because I need to reach as many people as I can. I need to be able to stretch out, touch people. I need to help feed people. I need to help. That's so all I'm saying. Yeah, we need to do that, but I like church bill. Shut up, Leslie. Close your mouth. I want a big box. And so, <laughs> so we was, we, 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 we got turned down by some banks too. We were looking good. We tried to do some bank with some banks, and they was we're not giving money to churches. We don't know what's gonna happen after this pandemic. We 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 gonna hold and wait. I'm like, Lord, oh, we looking good. We got the money. How can you not? They not they no. It was no 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 no. Sometimes when the Lord leads us and guides us, it'll look like so many roadblocks is getting in your way. But those are not roadblocks. To stop you from fulfilling the will of God. Those roadblocks the Lord is using to get you back to where, to point you where he needs you to go. And so this other church we was looking at, eh, it just didn't feel like it. Just, and we was about to do it and then we got it inspected. And when we got it inspected, the inspector called and told us, man, I'm going to tell you, I, 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 I'm just going to be honest with you. That stuff is old, is is toe up. He said that the the water, the water. <laughs> this this is real funny. He said that the water uh, heater looked like it came over in the Mayflower. What the? In the May? We said, oh no, we ain't. Uh, -uh this ain't it. So we're back at square one again. Then my husband gets on the uh, on the um, internet. And he, I'm going to find something, Les, you see. And he found this big, nice building, which was really out of our, how much we wanted to pay. <laughs> you know, the Lord will get you out your comfort zone. Yes, he will. He'll put you in a place where you got to trust him. So if they ain't qualify us, I mean, they, they didn't give us money for this. We qualified, but they didn't give us money. They didn't give us money for this. Yeah, in the world, you think they're going to give us money for that? Huh? But it was a big box. It was what he needed. You know, all this here, the space, all this what he wanted. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, okay. So we was like, oh, this is wonderful. This is nice. Let's go take a look at it. And then a friend of ours called, one of our spiritual sons, and said, um... I need y'all to come with me to this meeting with these guys. They're interested in investing in uh, some churches. And what would y'all come to launch? We said, okay, we'll come. And when we came, they said, oh, they looked at, the man looked at my husband and said, and this was before we turned down that other little church. He said, no, nah, you need a big box. You need a big church, Bishop Wright. You need a, a lot of square footage so you can reach out and touch people's lives. And when we turned down that other church, we called them and said, this is what we're looking at. This is what we have. This is what. And they said, of course, we'll finance you. Duh, 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 miracle, supernatural miracle. And these people are so invested in the church. It's not like a regular uh, uh bank or whatever that you know whatever it was supernatural i mean if i told you how that turned it was just supernatural it's supernatural god put us in uh, uh set us up so sweet that yeah, it was unbelievable so now we're in our big box if you will the gym we bought the gym which is uh uh uh, uh 26 000 square feet of beautiful 
uh, property with tennis courts and gymnasium, swimming pool, uh, 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 meeting space. I mean, you just name it. It's got it. And God gave us that supernaturally. We're in a supernatural position because we were willing to be led by the Holy Spirit. I can tell you time and time again, I can, I can, I mean, from the time we came here in 1995 to when, uh, when we built our first building, when we uh, bought the, uh, the, the golf course and, 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 and built the, the building over there. See, God gave Bishop Wright that vision. He gave them the vision for that. He gave him on how to do. He was led and God. That's probably why it's, but anyway, but like a God gave him that and, and, and it prospered when we had it. And this is prospering now. And so allow God to lead and guide you. Allow God to show you things to come. He has already prepared the way for you. Let me just tell you that building that my husband found, it wasn't like it was public listing. It wasn't like it was out there that it was on sale. But God showed it to him on the internet supernaturally. I don't know if y'all are ready for this supernatural guidance. Are you ready? Because when you get on this adventure of God's supernatural guidance by the Holy Spirit, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> the things that you'll be doing, the places you'll be going, the the, the what you what you'll be uh, 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 accomplishing through the guidance of the Holy Spirit will be supernatural. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you and we thank you for supernatural guidance. For you order in our footsteps, Lord. Even when we was down to nothing, you continue to order our footsteps. Driving from North Carolina to Mississippi every, every weekend. Ten hours up, ten hours back. Didn't have the finances and money to do it, but we did because we always had it when we needed it. Keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Fatalities on one side of the road. Hurricanes down the street. And it never came nigh our dwelling because the Holy Spirit guided us. Lord, we thank you for the many more adventures you have us on. As you've given us the tools to reach out and touch this community uh, more and, 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 and to turn them to Christ. The many lives to be saved, healed, delivered, blessed, and, and, and set free. The marriages restored. The families brought back together. The healings, the deliverances. Oh, my, my, supernatural. And so we give you the glory, honor, and praise for it. Guide each of us. Guide them in their businesses. Guide them in their relationships, their marriages with their children. Guide them with their businesses, their inventions, their, uh, their, their jobs. Guide them on their jobs. Guide them, Father, that they produce much in the kingdom that's bringing forth great fruit that will remain. Guide them in the church. Churches. Lead and guide us, Lord. Because you are our shepherd. And because of that, we shall not want for any good thing. Our souls are prosperous. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you'd like to listen to this message again, just dial 605-313-5089. 605-313-5089. Put in your code 624-634. This is reference number 474. Don't forget. We have our health and wellness series that is starting 
our health and wellness series. So what it means, our series. That means this is the first installment of many other uh, series, uh, many other branches to the series that we'll be doing. And this time uh, in our health and wellness series, which is this Saturday at 10 o'clock from 10 to 12, you want to be there. We're going to have uh, uh, an awesome time with vendors and 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 the workshop. It's going to be great. We're going to be talking about reducing inflammation, heart health, get fit, healthy cooking, taste testing the healthy cooking, and we're going to have vendors. You want to come out. It's going to be great. Come out. Bring people with you. We're all getting healthy together in the name of Jesus. And so we, we, as our souls are being prosperous, so is our bodies and our spirits in the Jesus name. We're becoming a triple threat in the name of Jesus. Now, some of the other uh, parts of the series will be mental health, parenting, uh, healthy children, how to have healthy children. Aging gracefully. Uh, uh, I mean, just name it. We're going to have all kinds of uh, things at the series. Don't forget the Daniel Fast. Wednesday will be the last day of our 10-day Daniel Fast. It's from the 16th through the 25th. Our Daniel Fast, Fruits and Vegetables. We're having a wonderful time there. Even uh, We're even having Fruits and Vegetables at our Wednesday night service where you can come and eat before you... Um, uh, before we start service. So you want to come out and be a part of that. We're going to have a great time on Wednesday nights in the name of Jesus. Because we're now in person in Jesus name. So we're in person. We will supply uh, uh, a light meal. Service starts at uh, uh, well light meal dinner time at six and then the seven service starts. And don't forget uh, uh, pastor is ministering on pray first. Pray first on Wednesday nights, so you want to make sure that you come out and be a part of that. Don't forget that we have service on this Sunday. This Sunday we have service in the name of Jesus, and um, a, bishop, a pastor is talking about uh, uh, us re uh, uh, re uh, establishing ourselves, re uh, committing ourselves to God. Everything is renewing and refreshing, you guys. Come on out. You don't want to miss none of this stuff. New Beginnings is having a, a doing a great thing. Also, we have youth. Uh, the men and youth will be going to uh, the Pelicans game uh, coming up on March 21st. Uh, we have a lot of sponsorships for that. So if your youth uh, want to come to that, men, men, young men, uh, ages uh, 12 to, through 18, we have sponsorships for that. G come on, y'all. Dust them cobwebs off. Let's go have some fun in Jesus' name. So we love you all. Uh, I think I've said everything. If I didn't, count it to my uh, head and not my heart. Love y'all. You prosperous souls. You look beautiful. See you Sunday. See you Saturday. Bring some folks with you. In Jesus' name.